Hey guys, Jamie here. I know that this is weird because I don't post videos like ever, but uh, this warrants a video post. So um, I'll try to make it as short as I can, but I wanted to share with you something that the Lord gave me in a dream. And those of you who know me know I do not share stuff like this. Um, I only will share this kind of stuff if I know for sure that this was something from God and it definitely was so the dream starts off with me in a church and I'm with probably like 10 other ladies or so and we are in this room and we are prepping for a huge celebration that's about to happen like it was definitely like a wedding or a feast or something like that so we had all these beautifully colored linens um, on this table and we were inspecting them to make sure that they were the highest purity and quality and we were looking at crystals and shining it like one piece by each you know one by one piece and we were um, shining silverware and there was like gold and brass and just all kinds of beautiful things very exquisite and uh, I told the ladies, I said, you know, you guys, I'm just really tired right now. I've been working so long. Do you guys mind if I go take a nap? So they said, yeah, sure, no problem. And, you know, in my real life, I do that. I um, coordinate a lot of parties and events and stuff like that. So I was in my natural element, you know. But anyway, um, so I went and I laid down and... I was, I was on a couch and there was a, a chair in the room. I woke up to the Lord nudging me awake and literally God's hand on my shoulder. And I sat straight up and I said, Jesus, what are you doing here? I said, oh my goodness. And so <laughs> he's just calmed me down with his, with his touch. And he said, I've come to tell you that you need to tell everybody to wake up. They're not ready and I'm on my way. I'm coming soon. And I said, what do you mean you're coming soon? We have so much to do. And he said, and he put his hand on me again, calming me down. Um, and he said, he said, Jamie, go tell everybody to wake up because I'm coming soon to get them for the feast. And I said, okay, I'll, I can do that. I can do that. So I, um, woke up from the dream inside the dream I ran to the other room where the ladies were and I told them what I said you're never gonna believe what happened to me Jesus just came to visit me and so I told them the dream and they were like but we are doing everything what, what else can we do and I said well the dresses aren't ready we, we haven't finished the dresses you know and so um, we went we started working faster and then I woke up from the dream and obviously obviously if you know the Word of God, this is a very biblical dream, and I've never dreamt something like that before. Um, but, you know, in the Bible, there is a parable about the ten bridesmaids, and there are ten of us getting ready for to meet our groom. And five of us didn't have enough oil in our lamps. All of us had fallen asleep at one point, but we all woke up. Five of us are ready, five of us weren't. The five that were not ready went out to go get more oil to fill their lamps while they were waiting for the bridegroom to come. And by the time they came back, he had already come. They were shut out from the wedding feast, which was horrible. And so um, this you know, parable is about preparation. It's about being ready for the Lord's return, being ready to be a part of this wedding feast. So obviously my dream was, was about that, um, but there's a lot of other things in the Bible that you can look at that are um, supportive of that. But I just, I wanted to share that with you because number one, if you are a believer, meaning you are a true Christian, you believe the Bible, you believe the word of God, you have a relationship with Jesus, you know him intimately in your heart, this this dream is a warning to take inventory of your heart, take inventory of yourself and um, wake up. Wake up, wake your family up, wake your friends up. You need to be prepared. It's not enough just to know Jesus here. You need to know him here. That is what makes you a true believer as well as obeying the commands of Christ, loving Christ, loving your neighbor as yourself. You know, these are all part of this walk and this journey of, of a Christian. 
And so if you don't know Christ, you're not a believer, you're not a Christian, this is a time for you because you're listening to me right now and it's not an accident, it's not a coincidence. This message is for you too. This is for you to search out who God is. Search out, find the heart of God. Ask him, say, Jesus, if you're really God, show me, prove it to me. Help me understand, help me see, help me to not be blind to the truth. And he will show you. He will show you who he is. So that is something I want to encourage you to do if you do not know the Lord. Um, the other thing, I just want to encourage people, you know, these, these, this season that we're in, I don't know, what, first of all, I don't know what it means when he says he's coming soon. Because, yes, I have had people tell me this before. Oh, Jamie, Jesus, he's been saying that. Or that Bible says that and it's been 3,000 years and he still doesn't come. Well, I know that, but guess what? He is a gracious and merciful God who is giving us opportunity after opportunity because he does not want any of us to perish. He doesn't want any of us to have, to, to go to hell. He is merciful. He is loving. That is why he's giving us time. But he also tells us, don't let this day be taken like a thief in the night. And he's talking to believers because why? Yeah, we're not going to know what day he's going to come what hour he's going to come but what he does say we need to recognize the season of his coming i believe as well as many others that this season is now why because there's so many events prophetically and things that have happened prophetically and biblically that uh, have already been fulfilled there, there's not that much left to fulfill y'all there's just not so um, this season, all of the signs are accelerating at like a rapid pace of things being fulfilled one after the other. I mean, one after the other. So if you're not aware of that, then you are asleep. You're not awake. And there's people who don't believe that Jesus is coming back in the twinkling of an eye, but he is. You're wrong. He is. It's in the Bible. It's clear. Research it for yourself. I... Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody. You need to reach, research it for yourself. Um, and then the other thing too is, you know, I just want to encourage people not to be fearful, not to be afraid, especially during this season. We have all of this craziness going on and the world is going a certain direction that we really don't want it to go. Um, but we do have a God who knows the beginning from the end. I mean, that's the point, guys. He is our blessed hope. His return is our blessed hope. So don't let people take that away from you. Um, if you guys have any prayer requests, you guys want to contact me, you can write me on my Facebook. I'm happy to pray for you. And if you, if you want to argue, you can argue, but I don't waste my breath with that kind of stuff. I tell you, this is what he told me to say. This is what he told me to do. So you can either listen to the warning and heed it, or you can make a decision to ignore it. But I've done what I've been asked to do. So I love you guys. I really do. I'm here if you guys have any questions or you need prayer. Other than that, God bless you.